Hi everyone, my name is Emily Bessie. I have been living with JIA since I was six years old and I've been volunteering with Cassie and Friends since 2020. Needle anxiety and needle phobia are probably one of the biggest things I've struggled with in my journey with JIA. Um, it is something that has taken me a long time to get over and is still something that I'm working on, but I promise that over time it gets a lot easier. So to anyone who's watching this that struggles with needle anxiety, that struggles with needle phobia, Please know that there are so many people out there who understand what you're going through, that understand how hard it is and how daunting it is, and that you're not alone in those feelings, and that it makes a lot of sense to feel those things because this can be a really scary thing. I know for me, videos and instructional tutorials like this were super helpful. In this video, you're actually going to be seeing my own mom who helped me through all of my needle anxiety and struggles with it, um, demonstrating for you how to do your injections today. So I hope that this video gives you at least a little bit of peace of mind and knowing that there are other people out there who are struggling with the same things that you are and that it's gonna eventually feel a whole lot easier. My name is Jennifer Bessie and I'm a pharmacist at IWK Health in Halifax, Nova Scotia and I work in the rheumatology clinic as a part of my role. Today I'm going to demonstrate some of the pre-filled pen options for the medication adalimumab. I have three um, options. So we'll start with Humira which is called the originator um, biologic and we will also look at two of the biosimilars and how their injections are provided. And then in the end, I will demonstrate uh, a pre-filled syringe. So most of the companies don't have um, an actual pre-filled syringe of their product, but what I will show you will be very similar to what you would receive um, with your prescription. So I'm going to start with Humira. This is their auto-injecting pen. There is a window here where you can see where the medication um, is being delivered. So you know the full dose has been um, administered. Um, so we will start by removing the first end. This will be the end where the needle is. Then we will remove end number two. This will be the button you use to activate the dose. So I'm going to take my fake skin here. So if you're your patient, you have prepared your injection area and cleansed it properly. I'm going to take the pen, push it against the skin. I'm going to push the button You'll hear a click. You can see filling in the window. When the window is fully full, you then remove the pen. So that has delivered the full dose. For most of the auto-injecting pens, it would take to about the count of 10 for the full dose to be administered. I will next demonstrate Julio. So Julio is one of the biosimilars. So you can see it's a very similar format. It also has a window that will show you um, the medication being delivered. This pen doesn't require you to push any button. It's activated by you pushing it against the skin. It will click on initial push and it will click again when it reaches the end and the window is fully orange. So you'll remove your cap again on prepared skin and you'll just take the pen push against the skin, you'll hear a click, click, and remove. And then you'll just dispose of your pen in your sharp stencil. So the last one I'm going to show you is called Amjavita. So again, another biosimilar product of Humira. Again, has a window, so you can very clearly see the dose is being administered. So again, with this pen, we'll remove the cap. This is the needle end against your prepared skin. This one does have a, a button that you will need to push. So you push against the skin, holding firmly in place. You will push the button at the top with your thumb. Click, the window will fill. And click and remove. I do like the auto-injecting pens. They're very straightforward to use and they're great if your child or if yourself, you're wanting to learn how to do your own injections. They're quite easy um, to operate. So as far as a pre-filled syringe option, most of them will look something like this. Um, it will be a syringe with medication down here. The needle will be attached. 
If you were to use it, you would simply pull off the cap straight away so you don't poke yourself. The needle is here on the end. And you would, again, prepare your skin, sort of hold like a dart, dart into the skin, and then you would be the one controlling the speed at which the plunger goes. Once all medication has been delivered, you would then remove the needle. So that's sort of the differences between the pre-filled syringe, which you will do more of the work of the injection, or one of the auto-injector pens that does most of the work for you once you get your um, area to inject ready. I hope that was helpful.